Yo, yo, yo. Am I, am I, can I even be heard? I don't know. What's going on? We're live. Elestrals. Elestral season is here, baby. Elestral season is here. Elestral season is here, baby. We are, we are done messing around. This is as real as it gets. This is as real as it gets, baby. Hold on, I gotta, do I gotta, uh, wait, yeah, uh, no, that's, that's, that's not it, that's not it, that's not it, I gotta, oh, oh, here we go, all right, <clears throat> no, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're good. We got we got illustrials with us, guys. We got illustrials with us. We are good. And I'm doing something pretty cool. I've seen a lot of people open some stuff, but I don't think I've seen anybody really do something like this, where they open both a Founders Edition Kickstarter booster box, as well as a First Edition booster box. As you guys know, I'm I'm in love with illustrials. I really like it. I like I like the gameplay. I like what you could collect. The collectability of it. I think what Dan's done here is absolutely awesome. And this is exactly the type of stuff that, you know, I feel like, um, Ella Chick, you want Ella Chick? Ah, I got you, 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 I got you. We, got you. we got you, Distant Cutter, we got you. The GOAT is back, Lance, what's going on? Yeah, I, I feel like it's oftentimes, especially in today's uh, world of trading card games you have a lot of guys that create trading card games you have a lot of guys that create trading card games and it often just uh meta zoos you know it's just it's meta zoo i don't think there's that many people that actually care about uh the game that they're making they're just trying to rug pull i think this is actually something where the, the creator wants to create something that's like you know playable collectible things like that um it's not it's literally not meant to, uh the whole you know you guys get what i'm saying i've been in a long-term weekly like league for this at one point distant coder in chat has won multiple tournaments for this it's playable it's real it's this is the real deal this is not here to like you know what do you call it work lurking but uh thank you so much yeah uh so I'm not going to waste your time. I feel like this is genuinely something you guys should check out. First edition is out now. Frostfall pre-orders are out now. Um, Kickstarter obviously is done. And yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I think Dan's got something cool going. Now, once again, this is two different booster boxes I have here. Yeah, he's getting it in stores. I saw that uh, Paladin Paladin was Paladin, a, a big time Pokemon. Uh, you know, they, uh, they sell Pokemon. They sell One Piece. They sell Yu-Gi-Oh. They sell... All that stuff have been, you know, did it. So, so, um, like that, that, that's, that's exact. Yeah. Paladin sold. Yeah, exactly. Dan messaged me that 50 booster boxes in one day. If you're missing out, you're missing out. I don't know what to tell you. You're missing out. You're missing out. Um, 50 booster boxes in one day is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, Yeah, so that that tells you like people care. It's not like if if and it's not like it's just going through illustrials. It's not like Dan just promoting it. This is this is going through real uh, stores. Real stores are wanting to put this on their shelves. Um, yeah, you have a sealed founders box. That's that's sick. That's sick. Yeah, I I got it. here. We got a Kickstarter box. Here we got a first edition. Now the reason I'm going to be doing both is because. There's differences between the Kickstarter and the first edition, as well as improvements. Dan listened to what the community said. It wasn't just like, let's just stop, uh, 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 put a different uh, stamp on there. No, this is like a real deal change in what was going on. Like there was, there, this was not just some sort of, uh, where can you buy some? You can buy for some, I think, Elestrals.com. I'm pretty sure Elestrals.com. Any mods in the chat? Uh, Sean, you're here, right? Um if Sean, you could just link a couple, uh, I think illustrals.com would probably be the best place shop illustrals.com. 
Shop uh, shopalestrals.com. I think that's what it is. Oh, woo woo dub. Thank you so much. I don't think we have an Elestrals thing, but uh, you can just here. I'll link it in chat. Grab a link, Sean, because I don't think it'll work that way. Yeah, Elestrals hype. So yeah, this is once again. That's something I want to want you guys to understand is that this is the importance of TCGs. Is does the owner actually seem like they care about it? The owner does seem like they care about it. it so much so that they listen to a lot of the differences and the problems that was going on. We realized in uh, in Kickstarter there were uh, there was a lot of batching, a lot of problems with batching card. Uh, the first half of the box would be like all hollows, while the bottom half had no hollows, and there was an issue that gets fixed. Things like that get fixed, you know. Uh, different types of different uh, Elestrals, monsters and uh, items and runes and things like that have gotten different hollows, you know. Uh, not only that, but serialized collectible cards. Who doesn't want serialized collectible cards? That's the point. Not only that, um, well, I, I open, I, I uh, you guys know Deep Pocket Monster? Deep Pocket Monster was somebody else that, uh, Pat, um, what's it called? Pat commented on one of my posts about Illustral saying, like, he's keeping up with it. He look, it looks very interesting. But today, I also wanted to do something special for you guys because we are advertising the big stream that's going to be happening this Sunday. This Sunday is a base set 2 and Illustral's prototype booster box break. So, please do check that information out. You guys can check that information out right uh, via uh, here. Let me get you guys the Twitter link to that. Um, but... This is, this is a huge break that's going to happen this weekend, and we want you guys to be there. We want everybody here to be there. So please do. Um, I'm going to pin this. Let me pin this. Pin that message. Check out the pinned message. Um, that's a pretty big break with some really big names in it from all sorts of different aspects of, you know, all this stuff. Like all this stuff. TCG. Uh, Shady is going to be a part of it. Iron uh, Island Grown is going to be a part of it. Pokey Aim is going to be part of it. Philly Beats You. Um, Coop is going to be part of it. Reversal. These are from all different aspects. So, so yeah, it's going to be awesome. I got packs in there. I got a prototype booster box sitting right across, right over there. There's a prototype booster box, which is like one of 50. So, pretty crazy stuff. But I'm also going to be doing a giveaway before I get into this. Uh, I wanted to show you guys. These are prototype uh, cards right here prototype so we're going to give away a set to one person here one person is going to get a set of these we're going to give away a prototype nimbug today and a prototype artwork zeus that is not uh printed this is not a card that is this artwork was not used uh so this is th this is stuff that like if you win this not many human beings on the planet will have something like this so pretty cool stuff uh pretty cool stuff um we'll so we'll be giving those away uh today but let's get inside let's open both of these up at the same time let's open both of these up at the same time all right do i have my i don't here okay here we go 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 yeah, these are, these are, the, uh, you know, I was lucky enough to, you know, be, uh, I've been friends with Dan. Unfortunately, we didn't get the box topper. Uh, you could get this as a stellar rare, meaning a uh, serialized uh, different color. Uh, we didn't get it, <laughs> which is fine. But um, let's open both boxes here. Let's see if we got the, let's see if we got the box topper one here. Let's see if we got it here. Um Wow, this one is this this first edition booster box is definitely uh, holding up to be a strong like you know it's not it's not flimsy or anything. This is actually very very nice um, booster box. To be honest with you, all right, here we go. Let's see here here's here it is. Ready? Do we get that? Let's see. Let's see. Do we get the ready? Ready? Bam! Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's not a special one. But Volt Tempest was one of the biggest hits in uh, the in the game. This is one of the bigger, uh, for a while, this was like, it was running the meta. But, yeah, so, a couple differences between, like, you know, what's on the front of it. We got Empherix here. We got Pantera on this one. We have Old Tempest here. Um, Sonic Core. So, pretty different stuff. Pretty different stuff altogether. Uh, the box topper wave was changing is one of the... Yeah, 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 that's also important, too. It's like, you want to see it, right? So, yeah. 
This is definitely the new, uh, it's new, it's it's cool. I want to open it up and let's see if we could pull ourselves something pretty sick. Um, but the box topper facing down was important. Um, I like opening these up with uh, scissors personally because um, it's just, it's easier for me to open these up with scissors. But let's see what we can get today. Uh, if we can get a stellar rare, that would be absolutely amazing. But there are some awesome full art cards in this that are pretty amazing. And um, yeah. These, this is the, like, I, ooh, Ambrosia. Ambrosia is uh, one of those cards that like is in every deck. Uh, what you're, uh, you're returning spirits back to your hand. Uh, I mean, back from your underworld to your, uh, to your deck. So that is like one of those cards that's like every single deck is going to be running like Ambrosia. The packaging looks stunning. Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. Absolutely wonderful stuff here. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Small Tuga, Spine Inf, Sacrosaur. Barabog, a Leonite Hollow. All right, two hollows, two hollows in a row. Two, two hollows in a row. And of course, you're going to grab your spirits here. Um, hopefully, uh, this is one of those boxes that batching isn't super bad on. Sometimes it can it can get bad in the Kickstarter. But once again, that's the whole point of Kickstarter. It's uh, it was like the original run, the original print run, and changes were made to uh changes were made adjustments were made to make it better for first edition you know uh this is what we backed and this is what you're gonna get uh but at the same time you know the the owner uh, the ownership listened the ownership listened the ownership didn't want to oh look at that full art hephaestus look at that bad boy right there that is one of the bigger hits that is one of the bigger hits we got right there. That is one of the bigger hits. Wow. So, obviously, uh, like, they're named after, like, gods and things like that, you know? So, that's one of the bigger hits. We got ourselves a, a, a full art Hephaestus. Um, and, you know, a lot of these, um, the gods, uh, like, they're kind of, like, uh, in, in a lot of ways... Uh, the engines. Ooh, now this is the alternate art Zaptor. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys like a regular. This is what a regular Zaptor would look like. And this is like the alternate art that, um, what do you call it? Ooh, is my, is this thing lagging? Yeah, it is. It's lagging a little bit. Let's go ahead and fix that real quickly. Let's go ahead and fix, fix that quickly. Let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. Perfect. So, so yeah. Now I'm starting to think that this box is top heavy. The batching is top heavy on this one. So I could be wrong about that. I could be wrong about that, but let's see. Um, we'll see. So this is once again, things that were fixed in uh, from the Kickstarter to the first edition. But uh, I want you guys to know that this weekend, the prototype booster box being opened, that's gonna be sick too. Because once again, the prototypes, there were so many different changes in prototypes. Do I have a favorite card? Um, I like, uh, I personally like Toxion. I think Toxion is sick. Elechick is one of my favorite cards. Um, yeah, Elechick is sick. Uh, Toxion is sick. Um, Astrabit. Uh, as you can tell, I love the th those Thunder cards. Astrabit is awesome. There we go. There's a Hollow Volt Tempest. Very sick hit right there. That's a big hit right there, actually. That thing kind of ran the meta for a uh, How many types of spirits are there? At the moment in the current game, there are five spirits. There is a, you know, let me, I'll show you guys real quickly here. Um, how, uh, the spirits real quickly. All right, so there's Teratlas, the Earth Spirit. There's Zapdor, the Thunder Spirit. Then, uh, let's see, did we pull any others? By Pyro, the uh, Fire Spirit. And Lycoris, the Wind Spirit. Um, so, is that all of them? Did I show all of them? I think that was it. I think I showed all of them. Did I miss any? Oh, and Leviathan, the Water Spirit. There we go. What's going on? Toxin is my favorite too. I like the regular more than the Stellar. Yeah, I kind of... Uh, some of the Stellars are like, you know, it's obviously... I get used to it. Um, you get used to it sometimes, but yeah. And Pump. Look at this uh, cutie pie. Elechick, though, what a sick card, man. When you normal cast this Elechick, you can search your deck for a divine rune and add it to your hand. Meaning, if I uh, summon an Elechick, I can go to my, I can go to my, uh, what do you call it? I can go to my deck and pick out Zeus, you know? 
such a solid card. Jolton. Uh, you guys, if you guys want to watch some Jolton action, you guys can watch some Jolton. I used to play Jolton too. Uh, Water, Fire, Electric, Air, Earth. The unreleased is... Uh, uh, I, uh, the unreleased Ice, Unrevealed Dark, and a Light. I think that's all the types so far. Yeah. So far. So... Ooh, another Leonite Holographic. Another Leonite Holographic. So, yeah. And then after this one, we're going to... After this uh, box, we're going to get ourselves a nice old... Um, first edition booster box and open that bad boy first edition booster box so first edition is out technically the game is completely playable there are structure decks that you can purchase as well which are actually good structure decks they're not like bad they're a lot of them are like playable right from uh right the deck itself is playable so and then you add your little additions here and there and the community is good there's a lot of people that want to trade another volt tempest they'll t we'll take that we'll we'll take that never never uh you know volt tempest being one of those bigs in your deck is always good what's the size of the cards size of the cards are usually very normal sizing like the same sizing that you would see for most tcgs they're not like bigger uh let me see if i have any uh something else i could compare it to another leonite we got a leonite box here we got a leonite box here let me show you um here right here i got a buddy buddy poff in here literally same size as pokemon yeah it's definitely thicker it's not it's not as uh light as pokemon for sure uh now this is kickstarter edition uh i could tell you a little bit more once i open the first editions and I'll show those off too. Very similar, but it is it is thicker though. It's definitely thicker to Pokemon for sure. Now that was a foil. Maybe, let me see. Even foil cards. Yeah, very, very uh, I would say this is definitely a bit uh, heavier. I don't get that uh, warping issue as much with my Elestrals as I do with Pokemon. That's something to put out there. Just shared out the stream. Thank you so much, A. Howard. Obviously, always uh, much appreciated when uh, folks do that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. But I definitely would recommend playing it. If you haven't played it, I would... Like, you guys could play it. There's a lot of gameplay out there. There is a lot of gameplay out there, including... Um, including... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Distant Coder in chat. Uh, a lot of his tournaments are on there. This guy is crazy. You could check out his, like, he actually also has a channel specifically for Alestros, uh, Alestros, uh, Alestronauts, Alestrols, excuse me. So you guys could check that out too. My channel's kind of, you know, whatever. Uh, but the, if you want a very specific Alestros channel, that's probably the place to go. Um, now my goal in Alestros, a lot of people ha have asked me, uh, Coder, like you've talked to me about like playing and stuff too. Uh, funny enough, my goal is not to like actually play, although I would, l I need to know the game because my goal, I want to be like a commentator for it. So, you know what I mean? Uh, you sleep immediately now? Yeah. So you got, uh, so that's something to keep in mind. I'm the opposite. I left my cards on the counter for the day came back and, uh, oh, yikes. Yeah. But Alestrals is exactly like, um, it, you're also not, this is one of the best cards in the game. This is one of the best cards in the game. You can, uh, uh, Nexus, meaning, uh, move round two spirits. When you do that, you can target a rune and destroy it. Absolutely nuts. What an absolutely nutty, uh, uh, what's it called? Way to play the game. Um. Yeah, that's that's literally my goal. My goal, like I would love to play, but I would I want to do like play by like play by play, but also do color commentary. Like I'm definitely probably not the best person to talk about. Uh, is it Tin Tuesday already? Absolutely not. Today we're talking Alestrals. That's what we're talking. Um, but like yeah, for example, like I feel like I'm very good at telling a story and things like that. So for me talking about say the history of a player you know that type of stuff while on commentary would be sick to do you know what i mean history of a player history of a deck history of a card you know uh changes a card made what was like what type of uh, weird times has like has a card been used in a deck in a weird way things like that that's exactly what i want to do uh i've got no clue how to actually play the game me and our uh, and our friend tried. Hey, man, it's not hard. It's really not that hard to learn. It is one of the easier games to learn and pick up, to be honest with you. I originally had a lot of, um, you know, a lot of people were asking me, yo, uh, 
what are we talking about uh, i'm turning my channel in po a pokemon history channel uh i mean that's pretty sick that's pretty sick you overestimate my your iq no 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 i'm a glass half full kind of guy i'm just i'm just you know what do you call him but yeah things like that would be like that's like one of my goals i want to do that so i've talked to dan about that in the past whether it happens or not i don't know we'll see but if there ever is like an Elestral's world tournament or something or like you know like a regional tournament or something that like a few people like fly out to or something that would be like i would love to be there not even not to play but to you know interview and talk and chit chat over the game world's at the end of this year that's what we're talking about man we're talking about that that's where i want to be that's where i want to be imperial but obviously if i want to do that i have to make sure to keep up with the game and do my due diligence and actually play and stuff so yeah earth scout earth smog necklace of harmonia come on give me something we already got a full art we got ourselves the full art but i, I need i need a what do you call it so i'm thinking yeah i'm thinking this was batched towards the top i'm definitely thinking this was batched towards the top but um come on st can we get a stellar out of this box that would be insane i remember uh we did pull a stellar if you if you're interested in uh Elestrals. we did pull a stellar before and we have pulled a stellar before as well uh ambassador i wouldn't say i'm an ambassador I'm just somebody who enjoys the game. So I feel like that's literally it. I actually just genuinely enjoy this game so much. So, so yeah. By the way, uh, if you are in the stream, uh, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be making Illustrials content. But uh, usual stuff is like, you know, I have other usual stuff too that you guys could check out. But, yeah. Um, but... One of the cool things that I've been, I w I'm lucky enough to say is that uh, Dan and I have been friends for a couple years now. And Dan definitely trusted me in helping him. When he originally started this, uh, we did a lot of like alpha testing. Um, and some of the alpha cards were like, Dan would take like print, like Im print images of these cards out and glue them onto like card stock or something. And we'd play with those cards. So that's like a thing that is, that's like a thing. That we we did, and this is like alpha, alpha, early, early playtesting before and he ever got anything printed, and um, it's kind of amazing because, like, I never thought that that's the level of like, and, and seeing where it is now, seeing how so many people actually play the game, talk about the game, and you know, play around, do their stuff, to be able to say say that I, you know, probably touched one of these things before any other human did um that's pretty crazy to say that's not that's not a normal feat right there no normal feat i'm thinking this is not gonna have a yeah there we go i think yeah i think we got to the batching as you guys can tell this right here was one of the issues i was talking about that was a problem in the original uh kickstarter run where the like the the top cards like it would either be like all the top cards have hollows like the top six seven uh, packs on each side had hollows and the bottoms didn't so that's something that was fixed um so let's see let's see let's put some of the stuff on the bottom that way we can you know branch out the hits somewhere uh but who knows who knows we'll see maybe maybe we don't get it but um, one of the cool things about Illustrals I like too is that uh, a lot of these cards see multiple arts, you know, um, where uh, a lot of these cards have seen multiple arts, such as, uh, you know, I think, um, I'm trying to think, Astrabit's seen multiple cards, there's like artist sets and things like that too. Um, three packs from now, I smell a hit, you smell a big one. This is pack number two. Ooh, okay let's go let's go let's go with this one let's go this right here let's go with this bad boy let's go to this bad boy right here now uh distant coder what's it feel like to be the best illustrious player in the world how's that feel how's that feel <laughs> you currently are the best illustrious player in the world no I mean, I mean, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. It's like the, the championship show that you are. 
the statistics show that you are. Whether you are or you aren't, the numbers show it. So, your boy Josh, the Illustronauts, the Illustronauts, the numbers show it. The numbers show it. That's it. It's. I'm not saying whether you are or you aren't. I'm sure there's players out there that might not be happy about me saying that. But, I'm sure, uh, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. You've, you've won your championships. You've won your rings. You got your rings, don't you? 33 likes? Oh, woo, woo. Yeah, there's no... Obviously, there's going to be no 33 like thing today. Because it's a totally different type of stream. This pack on Gosh, let's see. Because I, I know, I know, it's it's a it's a scary thing to call you the best or call one person the best, especially in a community of like you know where things are, uh, you know, competitive to say the least. But um, but you are showing you show up on every tournament and you win them. So it, it means something, bro. Like, it means something. You can't just say that you're not. Um, but there's a lot of folks that are now interested in this. And that's the coolest part is, like, uh, I'm seeing on my timeline, I'm seeing a lot of people open things. Guys that play Yu-Gi-Oh! regularly, like this encoder, you, you're a big Yu-Gi-Oh! guy. Vanta J, uh, you know, J's been huge with that. Uh, oh, Nave Nation, you didn't have to do that, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You're, you're too kind. You're too kind. Hopefully, we can at least finish this box out with a stellar... Oh, a Pharos. A Pharos holographic. Can we get a stellar? Can we get a stellar? Let's get ourselves a stellar here. Let's get ourselves a stellar. Or maybe another full art. Another full art would be fine. I'd take another full art, too. Sakura Saur. Battle Bog. I'll own my wrong... Oh, another Leonite? Dude, I can't get away from these Leonites. Another Leonite. Oof. Mount Olympus. Islands of Alia. Drops of Leaf. Golden Apple of Discord. Scythe of Demeter. Earthquake. Tsunami. Mud Majorsa. And a Lycoris. Yeah, I, I, dude, I love him, man. I, 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 I freaking love Illustrals, dude. Um, and they also have an app that you can play on. If you want to learn how to play the game, there is an app. You can, pl you can play the app. Another thing I would join, uh, you could probably, uh, through the Illustrals website, uh, join their Discord server. Very inviting community. Definitely a good box to show all the improvements of the first edition. That's probably a good thing, too. Yeah, it's like, these are things where, like, you know, if you're seeing, this is a Kickstarter box, right? This was, like... The Founders Edition. This was not uh, the complete... This is not the completed uh, item. This is not the completed item. And it's good to show that these are some of the issues that, like, say, the Kickstarter had. But um, they've been improved upon. They've been improved upon. And that's, like, the best part of it, this type of stuff. But remember, this Sunday, Base Set 2. Another Aferos. Base Set 2. And an Alestral's Prototype Booster Box. Open side by side with some of your favorite creators. Shady Penguin will be there. PokeAim will be there. Me, your most favorite creator, of course. <laughs> it's fine, Imp. Oh, Pandasine. Uh, Frostfall is the newest set. And you can uh, check those out too. Uh, uh, I think you can pre-order Frostfall. I think they announced Frostfall's pre-order today. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Illustrals uh, announced it today, so... If you're interested in getting the set that comes after it, the first set that is outside of, like, you know, uh, the current meta and the current stuff. Yeah. What is base set 2? Base set 2 for Pokemon. That's what it is. So, it's a Pokemon base set 2 box. And uh, alongside a... What do you call it? Um, uh, alongside a um, prototype booster box of Elestrals. A prototype booster box, which is crazy. Tomorrow for everybody else, no brainer. Thank you so much for that information. Thank you so much for that information. Majesty and Leviathan. Yeah, Elestrals. It'll be an Elestrals prototype booster box, which is arguably like the ra one of the rarest Elestrals items on the planet. Because only I think a, only sixty total were made or something. 
uh, a lot of which were sent to like creators i think dan probably has a couple on him illustrialization what's going on what's going on what's going on so yeah uh dan probably has a couple prototypes left but that's about it man that's literally it i was like when did base set true drop <laughs> no technically uh there's no base set two for illustrials at the moment all righty and let's see in our final pack our final pack will there be a stellar rare to finish it off so um but yeah this was a perfect example of what the changes might show up i think four to five people have a sealed proto box still yeah listen i'm one of them i'm one of them baby <laughs> all righty all righty all right here's what we're gonna do here's what we're gonna do before we move uh on to the next box here what's going on here let's see i'm going to so for example let me show you so we got leonite we got a nefarious we got a nefarious we got a leonite we got voltempus we got a leonite voltempus uh zaptor festus leonite ambrosia so this is what I mean. These were some issues that were happening in, uh, what's it called? These were some of the issues that were happening in Kickstarter, right? These were the issues that were going on in Kickstarter. A lot of batching. As you noticed, a lot of the hollows were pulled together, not like throughout the box. So if you open a Kickstarter box and you want a bit more surprise, maybe like move the packs around a little bit so it's easier for you to not deal with that batching, you know? But um, we pulled uh, this literally... Xerneas VGC, thank you so much for the subscription. We pulled this four times. We pulled two Voltempest. We pulled two Aferis. Uh, pa Pandacene. Uh, uh, we did get our uh, Hephaestus full art. We got a Zaptor uh, alternate art. But these are issues that was taken care of. You're not going to see as much of this in uh, the first edition because uh, batching is not going to be as much of an issue. Not only that, but first edition also has different holographics. Things are uh, things look different. Different cards have hollows. Things like that. So something to keep in mind. But uh, before we continue, I think it's time that we do a giveaway. I think it was time we do a giveaway right now for some. Uh, what's it called? For a prototype. A prototype here. We're gonna do a prototype giveaway. Prototype Nimbug. I'm gonna throw in the uh, Leonite with it, right? This is, uh, once again, prototype cards are not something that everybody has. They're, um, this, they're very rare, but I want to, uh, I want to give these away to one lucky person in the stream. So all you got to do is keyword in the chat, keyword in the chat, Elestrals. So you just type it in once and you are good to go. And uh, one lucky person in the stream who types that in gets a chance uh gets you know is gonna win uh the nimbug so all you gotta do is type it in once i can't spell though oh well <laughs> just type it in once uh but yeah look at the difference right there so you see this that's the indicator of prototype right there there is literally not a lot of those out there this <laughs> there's not a lot of these out there Definitely a limited amount. I'm sure there is like there's a decent amount of them out there, but how often is somebody putting this out there for you to, you know, I'm sure there's people uh, that there's probably copies of these that ended up like, you know, somebody didn't care for it. They just put it in the, their, what do you call it? You know, um, stuff. And that right there is the Kickstarter sign. And we're, we're going to show you the, uh, what do you call it sign in a little bit? Uh, giant Skyhawk. Thank you so much for the, uh, what do you call it? Um, subscribles right there. Subscribles. But let's go ahead and get this out there to one of you guys. Type in Elestrals. All you got to do is type it in once. Uh, if you're a fan, if you're kind of digging what you're seeing, check out the Elestrals YouTube channel. They put up a great how-to guide on how to play the game. Uh, you can check out the uh, shop dot uh, shop Elestrals to uh, what's it called? Um, uh, what's it called? To purchase some of the current first edition, as well as potentially uh, tomorrow purchase Frostfall. So yeah, um, shout out to Dan, man! You, like, dude, you put something crazy together, bro! Like, this is this is insane. The amount of like love I'm seeing online is exactly what I mean by. 
Uh, uh, so yeah. All right, here we go. Let's see. So yeah, let's see. I, I, we got people typed it in. We got people typing it in. All right, we got 19 eligible users. If you're not interested, that's fine. If you are interested, type it in the chat right now. Um, I'm going to read the names of the people that are in the giveaway. If you are in, you're in. If you're not, you're in. You're, you're just not in. All right, cool. Sounds good. A. Howard, Arun, Cayman Collections, definitely not Derek Race. Distant Coder is in there. Dogfish and Elestralization. Flex Collects. Um, who else? Who else? Who else we got here? Who else we got in here? Who else we got in here? We got Jesse Campbell, Giant Skyhawk, Mail Mankey, Maxim, Moral Meerkat, Nave Nation, No Brainer, Savvy Echo, Shawnee Sean, Ships Ahoy, Terraria Dude. All right. Got a couple people in there. Dan has always found a way to do what he wants and get it done. Give me, uh, uh, gives. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, hundred percent. Never he he's never he's never not been himself. He's always been himself. All right, let's go ahead and uh, roll a winner. Let's see. Let's see who's gonna be the winner here. Who's gonna be the winner? Who's gonna win themselves an Elestral's prototype card with a Leonite? Let's see. Elestralization. Ooh, congratulations on your win. Uh, you can contact me either via Twitter, Instagram discord whatever works but i'll get this out to you dude congratulations on that nice one nice one get that proto nimbug it's all yours it's all yours baby it's all yours congratulations on that now we're gonna get to the other the other thing that we we're gonna open here we're gonna get to the other thing we we're gonna open here we got to get to a first edition booster box first edition baby this is that first edition, baby. This is what is orderable right now. You can, If you're going to buy Elestral's booster box, you're going to buy from this right here. So, this is honestly, man, I, I like I said, the changes from Kickstarter to first edition is exactly the point of what it means from going from Kickstarter to production. Like Kickstarter from like crowdfunded to actually production of a TCG. We've seen TCGs over and over and over again do the Kickstarter and then nothing happens afterwards. This is exactly the correct way to do it. We He heard a lot of the issues that was going on. He spoke with the uh, warehousing, the production company, all that stuff and made sure to try to fix as much as they uh, they can. Now remember, every booster box does come with. Where did it, I think it just fell somewhere? I don't know where it fell. What the heck just happened? Um, <laughs> every booster box comes with a uh, what's it called? A a box topper. So once again, all, the original booster boxes when you open them, the box topper was sitting like this, so you would see it. But now all the box toppers are turned up upside down. So it's a bit of a surprise because if you turn it around and it is the special serialized stellar version of the card, it's so much cooler. Now, once again, this is another thing I could show you guys. That's your first edition stamp right there. So that's your first edition stamp. And that's your Kickstarter stamp. And uh, where, where is it? Where's the prototypes that I had here? Where's that prototype? Where the prototypes at? Where to put a top? Here you go. Here you go. That's their prototype stamp. You could peek them. Oh man. Oh man. I didn't I, see. See y'all. See people be coming up with inter, like the y, people be coming up with stuff, man. Pe people people be coming up with stuff. I cannot say I'm I'm one of those people. I cannot say I'm one of those people. All right. So when we get halfway through the booster box, we're going to give away uh, this stuff right here. How you doing, Alex? What's going on? People will always find... Yeah, people will be coming up with stuff. I don't know what else to say. There's not much more I could say, guys. I, I wish I could say more, but I can't say more. Um, but also, if you guys want me to today... Oh, where's my screen? If you guys want me to show off some uh, some weird stuff that I have sitting around. I have some weird, I have some weird stuff from... from uh, what's it called? Uh, like... Where is it? I have one sitting right here somewhere. Sitting right here somewhere. Let me see. Let me find it. Let me find it. 
Let me find what I had sitting around here. Some stuff that not everybody gets to see every day. Uh, where did I put it? It's right here somewhere. I'm going to find it. Let me, I'll find it. Give me a second. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it here. Is it here? No, you're not here. Okay. Oh. Here we go. So, uh, some stuff that I wanted to show off that I was lucky enough to get. Um, not everybody in the world has these things. And these are probably some of the, you know, some of the things I keep very near and dear to my heart. I have multiple copies of them. Uh, so something like this is pretty sick. So these are no art cards and, uh, these were given to me very early on. These are prototypes. And the example here is that, um, this is a Hephaestus without the artwork. Why? Because ca these cards were made, but the art wasn't finalized on these. The arts w weren't finalized on these. So something like this is, is genuinely like next level. Like this is not, not everybody has these. These are, uh, what's it called? These are, these are, this is as rare as it gets. Like things like this is as rare as it gets, um, in, in the hobby. So some cool stuff here, but halfway through the box, we'll go ahead and give away this, uh, some prototype stuff here too. Um, yeah, the no arts are, uh, up there, <laughs> up there for sure. Now I sucked at opening that was one thing I told Dan about. I was like, dude, I can't open your packs. I can't open your packs. Like, I suck at opening your packs. Uh, and these ones have made it easier for me to open. But I think I'm still going to end up... Because you know what it is? I'm rough with these. I'm too rough with these. And I don't want to damage the packs inside of it. That's my thing about using the scissors. Because if there's a Stellar in there, I will cry. Uh, are they playable? Uh, no, those ones aren't playable. Uh, most prototypes aren't playable. I think the only playable prototype, if I'm not mistaken, is the, um, the spirits, I think, are the only playable prototypes. So, ooh, Circle of the Sky. Now, these cards are so much more different than the, the, these right here. Like, they, they feel different. They have, they have a different shine to them. They feel different, for sure. For sure, they do. So, Circle of the Sky solid no prototype yeah i think i think there was just i think that was the only thing that i've ever heard anybody say is the the sp the what's it called i think i asked dan about that once um or a ruling on the spirits because the spirits aren't changing right the spirits don't change i feel like Yeah, I think that that's the only thing that I've heard is the spirits, but um, everything else is like not playable. As long as it's consistent, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I think that I think the spirits is the only thing that I've heard. Um, but other than that, there's no prototypes that anybody's allowed to play. No, nope. and it see it seems right. I mean, obviously, prototypes are changed. Yeah, you could play Pokemon Energies, technically. Technically speaking, you could play Pokemon Energies if you wanted. Because the spirits are, you know... Um... Ooh, we got ourselves another Leonite. We got ourselves another Leonite. Rock up with the spirit pins as your spirit deck. That would be hilarious. If you just had an entire pin, like, pin situation going on Ooh, look at this man wow this one's pretty nice because of like the red works so perfectly the red works so perfectly on that wow that's nice i like that let me get these all out of here i'm gonna i don't want to this box is like a giant box sitting on my thing and i don't like that i i like i genuinely can't i gotta get rid of this box on my desk it's just so much bigger than it needs to be all right, here we go.
you gotta yeah i see i was i think i was reading years ago that um i i was watching a ristic studies video about magic the gathering and there was a uh years ago there was a like i think somebody used maybe it was like chaos orb or something and somebody did something with it where they like ripped the card so the opponent was like he doesn't have a full deck anymore and he lost it uh i think the whole idea of chaos orb was like it was a there was a like there's a way you use the card, but you have to do, like, some sort of, like, physical activity, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, so, that, it was, like, it's so interesting how that worked. Uh, I was reading about a Yu-Gi-Oh card earlier where you have to play, I think there is a way of play. like, there's a card that makes you and the opponent play rock, paper, scissors? Dan and them did an amazing, yeah, the cards are sick, man. The cards are perf beautiful, beautiful cards, to be honest with you. But uh, the Shattered Stars stuff is sick too, man. The um, I haven't, I have, uh, I have, I've been unlucky in that I haven't pulled any. What do you call it? Um, but yeah, so there's also some wacky stuff here too. Like I, I like, I like what I like the way some of this stuff plays. Scavagem, Spinemph, a Pharos. Oh, this card looks so cool. Like I don't know how to explain it. This is probably one of the best non-hollow looking cards, like artwork wise. So nice. So nice. So nice. Ruma Jim. Golden Apple of Discord. Um, now, I am, you know, I know how to play the game. I haven't played the game in a while, and I should. Uh, it's been a while since i played it, but it's a fun game, man. I'm not even trying to shill. Like, I'm not even trying to shill. If I was trying to shill, I wouldn't have s sat through an eight-week tournament. Like, an eight-week league where you have to, like, you know, build your decks and present this stuff. Like, I wouldn't have sat through that if I didn't enjoy it, obviously, you know what I mean? But I did. I enjoyed it. That's why I, I, I did it. That's why I played the game. You know? Yeah. Um, I, I'm trying to think of what I would want to hit hit in this set oh and and another thing is uh another thing that was is is cool about this is that you can even hit serialized cards in the structure decks say you buy a structure deck for pentera you could literally open a stellar pentera like like a serialized card in a structure deck it's not always just the booster boxes like there is a level of collectability a level of potential potential like joy even in opening something that you think is like exactly the same every single time so that's something to consider too you know that's something to consider too uh, it was great getting to see me play yeah uh, maybe next year maybe next one I think the next one will ha maybe have more people Less people, I don't know, we'll see. Not less people, but definitely probably more people. Uh, the Illustriad competition. The Illustriad. Something... Something amazing. Something amazing. The Illustriad. And, uh... At first, I didn't really start off too hot in the Illustriad. But then, like, I really, like... Got my mojo going towards the end. And I even, like... <laughs> I really like, you know, I play, I feel like I played well, like towards the end, I was like absolutely doing, doing the job, building correctly, making, making my opponents panic. Neighbor, what's going on, man? How are you? What's going on? Congrats on your uh, package. I saw that you were, uh, you got your package from Illustrals. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was, uh, it wasn't easy. Ooh, Stratomoth. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful Stratomoth. Beautiful Stratomoth, my friends. Let's get these opened up. Yeah, I think that was... Uh, I think that's the... Like, obviously, a game is more fun when you're winning it. <laughs> um, I, a game is definitely more fun when you're winning it. But I was... I was doing... Like, I was doing the bits, man. Like, I was doing... I was doing the bits. I really was growing into the game. I grew into the tournament. And uh, a lot of that was about, like, you know, I feel like if I just sat down and really, like, put my mind to it, I could, I could, 
pull up pull up a couple of good things. You looked like I was having I was having fun, man. That's what it's all about, though, right? Like it wouldn't be like I said. If I didn't enjoy this, I wouldn't do this. I don't care. Like like the point is, I don't open Magic or play Magic because I don't I don't enjoy it. You know, like that's just not my thing. Um. So so yeah. Got to go. Hey, thank you so much, Dogfishing, for being here. You guys, you were awesome. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you, everybody who's shown up here. All the subscribers. All the, you know, people. I hope you guys check out my regular content. I will try to get more illustrial stuff up for you guys as time goes on. We shall see. Uh, I'm still looking. We're still looking to see if we could potentially, potentially pull a serialized card today. That would be insane. That would be insane. The one booster box I pick up from my collection, I pull a serialized. Um, the last time I opened, uh, I think I got the Empherix from the Kickstarter, the Kickstarter Empherix, the Founder's Edition Empherix. Stellar luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for the stellar luck. I appreciate your kindness. You know what I never pulled though? The Demeter. I never pulled that full art Demeter. I never pulled that full art Demeter. That was like one of those like, I pulled the, I think I pulled, I pulled a full art Zeus. I pulled a Hephaestus. I, I pulled the Aeolus, but I never pulled the Demeter. Never pulled the Demeter. Rub the mustache for good luck. Always, always. Thank you, Chris Pye. Guys, if you're not checking out Chris Pye TCG, somebody who, uh, well versed in TCG and is, Ooh, look at that Volt Tempest right there. Hold on, let me show let me see. Let's see. Where's uh where's those like the cards I pulled earlier? So here. So this was This is the hollow now compared to what it used to be. Now it's so interesting because this this, this isn't this is a new hollow pattern. Like this is a new hollow pattern. And it's it's interesting because it's like this this was Kickstarter. This is what this is like the perfected edition, something that they keep to get like, you know, this is the final edition of it. But this is also official. Like this was official. It's not like this wasn't official. This was official. But first edition, they added a different hollow pattern. And like these are what this is like what we talk about like in the aspect of your like in the aspect of like Changes are happening. Care is being put into the cards. Care is being put into the sets. Care is being put into the releases. You know what I mean? It's not just one of those situations of like, hey, you're just... Alex Drum, thank you so much for the subscription. It's not just like, hey, we're just going to keep doing it over and over again. They didn't. They didn't. They said, hey, these are these are the changes that we want to make. We're going to make them. We're going to make them. These are changes you asked for. We're going to make them. Menosaur, what's going on, Menosaur? How are you? Full of is. Never subbed during the Illustriad. Got a Remy that. Hey, thank you so much, Alex. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. We'll be back for the Illustriad. I was the what did I call myself? The best of the worst in the Illustriad. The best of the worst. I also like um I also like stopped Drew's like Drew had to beat me. Uh Daniel Gunther, thank you so much for the subscription. Drew had to beat me to get through, and if I didn't win, if I if I won, Johnny gets through. If Drew wins against me, Drew gets through, and or there was gonna be a tie, or it was gonna be a weird three way tie where they would have to play it out or something weird like that. Is that what it was? I think that I think that's what it was. And that game against Drew was like my I think my most dominant game. It was like I was playing well in other games. And like me versus Boffy Boy was a very good uh like close match, MBT close match. But um versus Drew was like my like I have to win I gotta like put in like you know the work. And, uh, ooh! Look at this. Rise from the ashes. Target an Elestral in your underworld and special cast it into attack position. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh, baby. Oh, babe. All right, here we go. Elchik. Smoltuga. Sorlet. Quackle. Scavagem. Shield of Achilles. Necklace of Harmonia. A mouse station. A mouse station right there. So, yeah. 
some uh, pretty awesome stuff in the Illustriad uh, Season 1, uh, Year 1 Illustriad. And of course we got the winner in our chat right now, Mr. Distant Coder, the winner of the Illustriad, the winner of multiple tournaments, the winner of that, the winner of this. Um, yeah, Thunderbolt of Zeus, a Tsunami, Trident of Poseidon, Pandora's Box, Pandora's Box. Um, some cards actually, uh, the winner of our hearts, you keep, I, dude, you're literally, what do you mean gassing you up? The, the truth is the truth, man. I'm not trying to s listen. All right, fine. You're not the best player in the world. You don't want to be the best player in the world. You're not the best player in the world. The, the, the Empheryx right there. Look at that. Woo. Look at that right there. Uh, one of the coolest things is like the illustrators. I would love to get like an illustrator autos. I would love to collect illustrator autos. That would be sick if I could collect some illustrator autos. Um, maybe at Worlds they'll be there and we can get some autographs and stuff. Um, obviously I have a master set. Just not in a, in a binder format because... <laughs> Exaltier, you started doing that? I think I did. I think you shared it some... I forget. Was it shared on maybe Twitter? Where did I see it? I saw... I don't think I saw your post. I think I saw somebody like share your post maybe. But yeah. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I think I saw... Yeah, I would love to do that, man. That would be... That would be one of my favorite things to do. Like if I could... If I could get a... Uh, what do you call it? Um, a majesty, a lycoris, lycoris. There's a lot of staff you'll have uh, to get autographs from. Uh, our artist team is large. <laughs> yeah, I know the artist team is pretty big though. I mean, listen, hey, listen. Like this is something I got to do it now, or like I got to start now or do it never. You know what I mean? If I could get like prototypes, like some prototypes, autographed, that would be sick. You know, but um, but yeah, I mean. The best autograph of all is A drives, right? Like I could just, I should just get A drive to autograph something for me. <laughs> I should just get A drive to uh, autograph something for me. No, I'm kidding. I could, I'll show up at his house. I'll show up at his house and be like, "Yo, can I get that? You know that autograph we talked about? I'll get Dan to autograph something for me." Thank you, everybody who has shown up to the stream. I appreciate you guys showing up. This was like, uh, this was like, you know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Are you take uh, Are you taking any of these to card party? Ah, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll bring a deck or two so I can teach people how to play. Uh, all right. After this pack, we're gonna give away some stuff. We're gonna give away some stuff that not everybody has. A drive signed master set. I'm gonna be like Dan. Sit down and sign every single card here. <laughs> all right. We're gonna give away some stuff here. Let me go ahead and give away some stuff here. Because uh, I forgot to give it away at the halfway point. But we're going to do it now. We're going to do it now. Go beat Dan in a game. Listen, during the alpha days, Dan and I were going back and forth. Bruh. All right, during the alpha days, Dan and I was going back and forth. There was, I think it was, uh, I think Carrion's original, like the prototype Carrion, was one of the like most broken cards, if I'm not mistaken. I think Visterous was definitely... More broke, like Viserys is good, but I think Viserys' prototype was much better than it is now too. Like there were things, like there were, we were sitting on his dining table and playing. Like, uh, yeah, Viserys was br even more broken than it is. Uh, I don't think Viserys is like broken. I think it's like, it's good. It's a very good card. It's like a essential card, but it, it can be played against, I mean, right? It's just, uh, Viserys was like something out of this world. I remember that. But here's what we're going to do. Once again, we're going to start another giveaway. This one is for... This one is going to be for... Uh, it's going to be uh, five prototype... Uh, oh, these are the first edition ones. What the heck am I saying here? Where did I put the prototypes? I don't know. See, I have way too many things on my desk now. Where did I put the prototypes? Did I hide? Did I put them underneath something? Oh no! Am I gonna have to go find more? Oh, here they are. Yeah, here we are. Okay. 
All right, we're going to go through here. Hi, I'm Mosby. Hi. Here you go. We're going to give away five prototype cards. Spirits. Five prototype spirits will be given away today, right now. All you got to do is type Illustrials into the chat. Can't, can't wait to get enough cards to make a deck. Yeah, dude. The, uh, I would... Uh, if you're trying to think about playing, I think... Also, another thing to keep in mind is the Illustrals Discord server. Dude, there's people that play all the time in there. Play all... Literally on... They do their camera stream. They'll do, like, go live with their cameras and play, like, webcam games. They'll play... Um, or on the... Uh, or also on the uh, app. They'll play on the app. So, Illustrals in the chat. Type it in once. You don't have to type in more than that. Five of these babies right here, the prototypes. And we're also gonna throw in, we're gonna throw in an, a, 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 where was it? A Kickstarter Volt Tempest for you. I'm gonna throw in a Kickstarter Volt Tempest for you. Type it in once. P1, I, I don't know, I can't, I don't know how to tell. You could tell by the shield, no? Is it, oh, but the shield's not on this. Or you'd have to tell by the, this thing, right? Get these all in the sleeve for you. All right, type Illustrals into the chat. If you haven't typed it in, type it in now while I pack these up for you. So if you look at the line in the middle of the frame versus Volt versus the Spirits. Yeah, that's what I was saying, right? This It's like connected there, that thing, that piece. Yeah. But definitely not something that everybody has sitting around at their house. I, I like I promise you uh when it comes to prototype stuff like it's cool, man. This is this is the type of stuff that like I feel like once like it really blows up in like the collecting aspect of the world, like of Elestrals, like Elestrals like continues to grow, people will be like, "Bro, the, <laughs> the this is nuts, you know? This is nuts." Uh, Daniel Reyes, uh, illustrated all of these. So, uh, hey, if you win these and you can meet Daniel Reyes, get all five of these signed. Why not? Why not? Why not? So, here we go. I'm just going to say the, uh, the name of a, names of a couple of the folks that are in the stream right now. Uh... Um, all right, here's a, you're, if, you're, if your name isn't heard, you're not in the giveaway, but you might be if you just type in Illustrals into the chat. Alec, uh, Alex Drum, A. Howard, Aron, Cayman Collections, Daniel Gunther, definitely not Derek Reyes, Flex Collects, Giant Skyhawk, Ken X, Illustralization, Male Mankey, uh, Savvy Echo, Ships Ahoy, Terraria Dude. You're in the giveaway. If you didn't hear your name, type it in. Type it in, type it in right now. That's you, you have time right now. You guys still have time to type it in because I still have to top load these bad boys for you. I can't just send them out like this. Just can't send them out like this. And then after we open the rest of the packs, we're going to give away one more prototype card at the end of the stream. Give away one more prototype card at the end of the stream, which will be, if you weren't here, a prototype Zeus. A prototype Zeus right here. with uh, Look at that artwork right there. Look at that artwork. Prototype Zeus. Give that bad boy away at the end. Yeah, it is. It is. Definitely is. Yeah, it's always interesting to me, though, like, how this stuff, like the change like the small changes like like you said the font or if the line connects on the artwork or not or if um you know the shield is designed a little differently and it's interesting because that's like it, i don't know it's it's just interesting the way things like that work to me but all right i'm gonna pack this up and we will pick a winner type in illustrals if you haven't already typed it in for a chance at winning 
this little packet right here. Five prototype spirits and a Voltempest. There we go. Right, put that over there. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. If I'll, let's see who wins it. Let's see. Terraria dude. Terraria dude. New to uh, Elestrals. New to Elestrals. You were just talking about how you wanted a couple cards. You got some spirits here. And a Volt Tempest. That's a good way to start your deck right there. <laughs> That's a good way to start your deck right there. Uh, Volt Tempest. You might want to play Volt Tempest. I want to look into Volt Tempest. Yeah, that's all yours. I'll have that sent out to you. I will have that sent out to you. Congratulations. Is it not too late to say good luck? You know what, Craig? You could say good luck to me today, Craig. I don't even care, Craig. I don't even care, Craig. You could say good luck to me. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. I'm not. I'm. I'm not bothered by it. <laughs> all righty, here we go. Here we go. Let me just open these packs up real quickly. Get these packaronis open. Packaronis. Uh, what's your favorite Elestral? If you're a regular Elestral fan, what's your favorite Elestral? I think I think mine is probably Toxion or Elechick. Toxion or Elechick. Astrabid I like a lot too. Astrabid I really like a lot too. So, so yeah. Does an unrevealed one count? No, don't say any unrevealed ones because then I get, then Dan's gonna be calling me. Hey, dude, you gotta control the viewership, you know. And then I'm like, and then I'm in trouble, and I don't wanna be in trouble. I don't wanna be in trouble, man. You know what I'm saying? Boom bat, <laughs> like a volt. Oh, I said I never pulled a Demeter, and we got ourselves the waifu. Look at that. Oh, baby. A uh, woo. Woo. I said I never pulled a Demeter. And it just took me, uh, you know, opening first edition to get one. A <laughs> uh, woo woo. A uh, woo woo. First edition Demeter. We will take it. No questions asked. Mine are Volt Tempest, Like a Volt. Kryling and Elechick. I love Elechick. Sweet pull. I agree. I agree. P Gust. That was Craig Luck. Craig had nothing to do with it. Craig had nothing to do with it. Barabog. Majesty. And a Vipyro. A Vipyro. All right. Necroff. Ignector. Ampump. Craig came through again. He did not. Earthquake. Earthquake, what a card, man. Two, uh, two Earth Spirits, targeted to destroy an Elestral. Bam. Gone. See you later. See you later. Bye. It's that simple. Eruption. I think I finished. I think I won my last game using Eruption. Against Drew. I think it was Eruption that won me the game. Oh, a hollow. A hollow. A hollow. Vipyro. Alternate art. Look at that bad boy right there. Woo! Woo! Look at that bad boy right there. Wow. The ECL? Yeah, dude. I remember the Illustriad. Like, I remember, like, my last game. If you guys watch my last game, it's kind of funny because, like, if you watch the prep video for that where Drew and I make our, like, what do you call it? versus the actual video everything i say is exactly like how i wanted it to play like literally i built my deck exactly how i wanted to play it and i play it exactly how i said i was going to play it and i specifically remember dan was like dan was like dude this is this is this is the game plan worked the game plan worked so zephrog galaxy boom bat is there still room for an, uh for a uh, a stellar? Can we get a stellar rare? Is there room for a stellar rare, please? Please, Roy Yoshi, what's going on? He said good luck twice. No, that doesn't count. That count. That, that actually, uh, what's it called? Is it out? All right, we don't have many packs left. We only have after this one. We have three packs left, 
and then we'll give away that Zeus. But I want you guys to remember this weekend, Sunday, this weekend, Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, noon, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, noon, we are opening a prototype booster box. Not me, over on A Drive's uh, Twitch. Dan's Twitch, twitch.tv slash A Drive, a prototype booster box alongside, alongside a base set two booster box of Pokemon. This is insane. And there's some awesome people on there. Like I said, there's some big names on there, um, uh, such as, what's it called? Uh, I'm looking at Shady's name is on there, Island Grown, uh, Reversal's on there, you know, PokeAim, myself, the biggest name of all. <laughs> Trifernal and a Zaptor. All right, let's go. Let's go. Also, oh, by the, by the way, actually, you know what I'll do? Because I only have three packs left, we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in. Uh, we're going to open the giveaway now. We'll just open the giveaway now. Type in Elestrals into the chat for a chance to win a prototype Zeus, baby. A prototype Zeus. Prototype Zeus, baby. Necroff. Ignector. Typhlint. Nimbug. Ampump. Trident of Poseidon, Eruption, Hammer of Hephaestus, Umferial, and a non hilo Vipyro. Typhlint, Ampump, Nimbug, Typhlint. I remember one of the other issues with Kickstarter was like a lot of the packs were like the same pack. That was another issue, if I remember correctly, where it's like, Literally, you would open the three packs in a row and would be the same pack. And it was just like something I noticed uh, when I was opening Kickstarter boxes, Founders Edition boxes. And uh, that seems to have been fixed too. That seems to have been fixed too. All right. Here we go. Last pack luck. Do we have that last pack luck? Remember, this is our final pack before we give away a beautiful, beautiful prototype card. So all you got to do is type Elestrals into the chat if you want to win that prototype. You got to type it in once. Not more than once. Just once is enough. But I appreciate everybody in the stream. Remember, this weekend is, is going to be a ridiculously hype, hype break. Dude, Elestrals, we got the Demeter. Elestrals, we got the Demeter. We got the full art Demeter. I never pulled. I was just saying. I, earlier in the stream. Before you, uh, you got here. I was complaining that. I pulled all the full art gods. Except for Demeter. And this is the one I pulled today. So. Alright. Here we go. Come on. Stellar. Ugh, no Stellar. No stellar luck today, but I will take it. I will take it. I will take it. You got to check it out. If you want to check it out, Elestrals.com. If you want to purchase, shop Elestrals. Shop Elestrals. This weekend, if you want to see more cards being pulled, um, uh, this weekend, Sunday, this weekend, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're, uh, Elestrals base set and base set two Pokemon are going to be open at the same time. Uh... It's a big break, so check that out. But check this out. Got some pretty awesome stuff. And once again, this is what I mean. Look, how many, uh, like, what, how many, like, we look how many different things we pulled here. Look how many different things we pulled here. We got the Exalter with the Amphirix. We got the Pandora's Box, a Mouse Station Hollow, Rise from the Ashes, Gato Bolt, Voltempest, Stratomoth, Krakatuga Hollow, Leonite Hollow, Nectar of the Gods, Circle of the Sky. These are different. Why? Because the look and and if you if you look at what we did in the Kickstarter, we got the obviously we got the Hephaestus, we got Voltempest, but we got two Voltempests. We got we got two of Epharos, Pandasine, Zapdor. We got four Leonites. These are changes that were made from Kickstarter to First Edition because it bettered the experience for the player, the collector, the person opening. These are important things to consider when you're when you're investing yourself into a trading card game. And uh, A Drive, the Illustrious team, they worked on this to make sure that 
these type of mistakes, these type of issues that were going on, uh, they they were fixed to give you a better time opening this stuff. So I definitely, definitely recommend checking this out. If you want to look at, if you want to watch some gameplay, the Elestriad uh, is a great way to do it. Elestral's uh, YouTube channel has all that content on there. So check that out. But now we're going to end the stream with a, a giveaway for Zeus. A prototype Zeus. This is, a, once again, a card that not everybody has. Type Elestrals into the chat uh, if you guys want to, uh, you know, enter into the giveaway. Type Elestrals. I'm going to say the names of the people that are in. If you're not in, uh, if you're not in, uh, you don't hear your name. You're not in. You know, ty uh, just type your uh, thing in. Hey, Howard. Uh, Alex Drum, Aron, Cayman Collections, Daniel Gunta, uh, definitely not Derek Reyes, Distant Coder, Elestralization, uh, Flex Collects, ID Gaming, Jesse Campbell, No Brainer, Ships Ahoy, Terraria Dude. All right. So if you didn't hear your name, type Elestrals into the chat right now and you will get a prototype Elestrals card. Uh, one that ton of human beings as the lustrals grows a ton of human beings will probably never be able to touch and see um so yeah pretty awesome stuff uh by the way dan if you're watching funny enough these are in the dragon shield sleeves that you gifted me alongside the cards <laughs> this is that dragon this is the same stuff it, like I, I sleeved all the cards so yeah all right we're gonna go ahead and pick a winner now we're going to go ahead and pick a winner. All right. So five. I'm going to count down from five. Type in Illustrals if you haven't already. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Roll. ID Gaming. ID Gaming was like, hey, I don't know what this is. I want to check it out. Well, now you're going to get a card in your hand. You're going to get a card in your hand, my friend. My goodness. So all you got to do is hit me up with your... Um, Hit me up with your... <laughs> Distant Carter says it's rigged. Distant Carter, listen, bro. How's it feel like being the best player in the world right now? I'm just kidding. I know you don't want to say it. But yeah, hit me up with your uh, information, dude. DM me on Instagram, Discord, however you want to DM me. I think you've reached out to me before. But but, <laughs> but congratulations on this. This is a pretty sick. Uh, congratulations to all the winners. Thank you for watching me open this stuff up. If you want to see more Illustrals content, let me know. I appreciate all of you. This Sunday, remember this Sunday, this Sunday, this Sunday is going to be the big Elestrals, um, uh, big Elestral stream. So please do go check it out on uh, twitch.tv slash a drive, uh, big Elestral stream, prototype booster box break, base set two booster box break. Much love everybody. Goodbye and, uh, good night.